Hi, YouTube. So I got the achievement enabler unlocked, right? I have it installed for the Game Pass version. I'm going to show you. As you can see there, level 25 is unlocked for my profile, right? That's my profile. I'm level three here. We're going to type in a command to jump us up to level 25. See if that works. Player set level 25. And look at that, it unlocked. So it works with the achievement enabler unlocked. You just have to have the right download. Sweet. Okay, so we head over to Nexus Mods and then we go over to the achievement enabler. All right. And then just a fair warning, depending what type of files you have inside your game directory, it's gonna determine which ones we download. All right. So first step first, let's go ahead to the download page. All right. This would be a manual download. There's no mod support or no mod organizer support for it. Manual download. And it's to be like, Hey, you need to download this GitHub page or not the GitHub page itself. Right. But the files. All right. So we scroll down and it, this is going to depend if you have what files you have in the game directory. So if we go and check, right, we go to Starfield manage under manage, we go to files and under files, you're going to click browse. All right, and browse, it'll pop it up. Okay, and then we go to Starfield. All right, and then we go into content. Once we're inside the content, let's check what file I have. Okay, so I have the K2W64 file. Okay, but I have the Game Pass version. Okay, now it just depends. This is just going to depend. Okay, so if we go back to the description, that's going to be like, Hey, like these are the, the game pass steps and up here are the steam version. Now it just depends what type of file you have. Okay. So if you have that K2 W64 file, you're going to follow these steam instructions, even though we have the game pass version and, I, and I'll show you real quick. Now, if you have the game pass version, you're just going to follow the, the game pass like instructions. Okay. It's, it's really not that hard, but there's another caveat. Now, if you have both of these files inside your game directory. Where's my game directory? Okay, here we go. If you have both files, if you have that K2 W64 and then you have that D input eight, you're just going to follow one set of instructions. You don't need to do it for both because it's not going to work if you end up doing it for both. Okay. So just follow one set of instructions. All right. So the next step after we downloaded, oh wait, we haven't downloaded it yet. We head over to the GitHub page. And this is going to determine which one we download, right? So since I have that K2 W64 file, I'm going to download this one. Okay. So go ahead and click on download and it's downloading. And now depending if you have the input eight, you're going to download one of these. Okay. So it just depends on your machine. It's a, if it's a eight, six, uh, 86 or a 64. All right. Now that we downloaded that, did I download the. Oh no, I have not done. Did I? Oh, I just double check. Right. We just make sure to download this. Okay. Download the mod, the achievement enabler, right? We'll just go ahead and download it. Depending if you have slower fast. All right. We'll do a slow one. So I don't have, I don't pay for it. <laughs> okay. Now we go to the downloads. Oh, yeah. I know it shows twice because I was, uh, testing it earlier. Right. Okay. So it shows Starfield achievement enabler and the K2 W64 file. All right, let's move this to the side because we have to go to the game directory. Okay. Once we're in the game directory, we need to rename that file. Okay. We're going to rename it at the end. You're just, all you're going to do is put hooked. Okay. That's all you have to do for that. Now we head back to the downloads. All right, where we have that K2 W64 file. Don't worry about the second one. You just need the top one, the DLL, the application extension. Now we're going to paste that into the game directory. Go ahead and paste. All right, it's in there. Next step is to create a folder called plugins. All right. Plug ins. Okay. Now, once we have plugins, we're going to go back to downloads. Right. 
back to downloads we're gonna go to the starfield achievement enabler where the zip is and you're literally just gonna copy this a asi file <clears throat> and you're gonna place it into plugins all right now it's there now we go back and double check okay so all the three files that we added we created that folder put the asi file in there we downloaded this one this is not the original one this is from the github repository remember okay and then we renamed the original okay now it just depends what type of file you have like if i had the d input eight i would just rename the the input eight and i would put hooked at the end and then i would download it from github okay and so this is how you install the steve achievement enabler all right and i know there's no vortex support for it or like the mod organizer so you have to do it manually and the steps are, aren't too bad all right but make sure when you do the the save that it's not one that you already ran commands on because if you already ran commands then it's already labeled as like a modded one with like cheats on and so that's not gonna work so you might have to do like a fresh install or if you've had like a vanilla one then you should be good all right and so that's pretty much how you install this i say it's not it's super simple but you just have to pay attention to the files names all right all right so i'll catch y'all in the next one thank you for watching have a great day.